explained that Vladimir Klitschko is now the WBA super champion. So when Povetkin and Ruslan fight, it's for what the WBA is calling the regular championship. That fight will be on August 27th. We'll see how Teddy's charge does there. An important thing just happened right now. It took five rounds for these guys to finally respect each other. That touch of gloves right there is a sign of I respect you and I know that you respect me. Let's Interesting observation. Let's look at Sergio Mora's scorecard through four rounds. 39-36 Coleman. Keep in mind, second round 10-8 because of the right hand that scored the knockdown. And let me tell you, Joe, the last two rounds were very difficult for me to I agree. actually score. I thought round three was a great back and forth round. I agree with you that I lean towards Coleman, but Paris was there every step of the way and had some very good moments as he does now. Great shots by Paris right now. Paris is looking great right now. But and see, then, then he comes gets... back and stands up straight and backs up, and a left hand's land by Coleman. That's no, no, the problem. Stop, stop, stop. See the total punches, 38 to 36 percent. Splitting hairs according to CompuBox. There's a double in. Both punches actually doubled up on the left hook there at the same time, which is something they need to do in order to get that off balance that I'm talking about. And once again, they touch gloves in the midst of a round. A day ago, they needed hotel security to separate them, and Coleman was kicked out of this resort, sent packing to a motel. Now they're touching gloves. And I promise you, at the end of this fight, they're going to hug and smile. I promise you. Unbelievable the transformation this sport can make in people. That's the fight game, Joe. Let me tell you right here, Joe, this is experience. Look at the beauty of this combination, the way he steps back, steps at an angle, comes back. He looked like Roy Jones right there, but then he gets hit with that solid left hook when he backs up. That's the only flaw I see so far in Paris, the fact that he, he looks at his masterpiece. He steps back, and then that's when you can get caught with the Taking a punches. picture. Round number six, scheduled for 10 here. Remember Coleman, a 19-1-1 record, suffered that one loss, Paris, 24 and 0, the unbeaten prospect taking a step up. See, the loss to De La Rosa came in October of 2008. It was the right hand on the inside. Coleman tries to fight right through it. No, no, stop. Step back. Watch your hand. Watch your hand. I'm really impressed with both, both fighters. I just love the counter shots and the power behind it. They've the delivered speed. upon what they said. Absolutely. The fight could stop in the sixth round right now, and they already delivered. And I'm telling you no, right no, now, no, Joe, no, no, look no, at this. No, a little no, Emmanuel Augustus no, coming no, out there. Stay off that rope. No, no, let's go. There's that shoulder roll trying to draw Paris in. He's trying to Lead draw right him hand. He's trying to draw okay, him stop, in and try so to that, counter with so a that. right kind of 65 degree James Tony type punch. Yeah, the shoulder roll counter right hand. Yeah, I got to left hook. I got to credit James Tony for that. I mean, I love Floyd. Oh, he he made the James last Tony. the last 7 years his career up. And now here goes Paris. Yeah. Paris lands well an uppercut landed and Coleman backs him up and ties Stop, up. Coleman yeah, clearly affected by that last assault by Paris. Coleman was in control until that beautiful combination. Oh, oh good one two shot. by Vernon Paris. Then he goes downstairs. Headshot after headshot. He's got Coleman in trouble. Coleman set back by a left hand. Trying to stand his ground. Another right hand comes in. Vernon Paris on the attack over a minute to go here in round number six. This is the beauty of boxing, Joe. The quiet man, the ice man, is actually doing the sicking as a dog here. He's actually coming forward. He's the one stunning him with beautiful combinations. Coleman is hurt and stunned. He needs to make it a dark fight. Coleman now trying to stand shoulder to shoulder. He ate another right hand. No, no, Dominating stop. round stop. by Vernon stop. Paris. Right hand to the body. The body Coleman shot. goes down. A thudding Three. shot puts Coleman Four. down. Five, six, seven, eight. Come here. Seconds to go, trying to survive 
This round number six is Coleman. He eats a jab. Now in the corner, another body shot reigns in. Paris on the attack. Final seconds. Coleman trying to survive it. He goes down again. A left hand to the body. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Come here. Watch time. Most dominating round of the night. Vernon Paris all over Tim Coleman. Wake up, Tim. Wake up. Let's listen in. Wake up. How you feel, man? Are you all right? I'm hurt? good. I'm good. Tim, you defend yourself. Stop you gotta hold. Stop it, dude. Work behind your jab. Stick your jab at him. You can't be sitting there. That could not do nothing. Work behind your jab. Everything behind the jab, Tim. Round number seven. Get this down. is it. I'm this good. I'm good. I'm good. Oh, this is the money. This is for all the money. Don't First body shot, Sergio. Beginning of the round, and then it ended with another body shot. He caught his attention a long time ago with that body. Both men have been landing solid body shots, but finally, Coleman gave in right there. Solid body shot. I mean, those are just debilitating shots, Joe. When you get hit in the liver like that, your legs just give out, no matter how good a shape you are. Joe Tessitore and Sergio Mora ringside. A grudge match has now turned into this. Paris on the attack, trying to stay unbeaten, trying to get rid of Tim Coleman. Remember, Coleman scored a knockdown in the second round, but Paris wasn't hurt. He was right in his fight every step of the way. Now he's in complete control, and the fight is over. Vernon Paris has scored the TKO win. Impressive stuff. We saw he's a top dog. You can talk the talk, but you better walk the walk. The Iceman. A little scuffle going on in the ring right now. I think about everything that was said all week. Security. Must be very careful here. And congratulations are now shared, but everybody was so nervous about what would happen after the fight. As tensions have been high, we told you there was an altercation in the hotel lobby. Tim Coleman was kicked out of this resort, and now the celebration begins for Vernon Paris, as he said he would. A night over his nemesis. Let's show you how he finished off Tim Coleman early in round seven. Well, he knew he, he knew he had him hurt to the body already. He just needed to go back down there and touch him. He hit him with that right hook, and then that left hook. Once you get hurt to the body, it takes rounds out of you, and it takes rounds to recuperate. That shot right there hurt him, and this one just did the job. See, it didn't even land that solid. It was the fact that he already he's already hurt down there. The body work started in round number six with the two knockdown scores. The 60 seconds in between, it was very interesting to listen into the corner of Tim Coleman as he's saying, I'm good, I'm good. And they're saying, it's okay to run. It's okay Use, to hold. It's okay to hold. Use your jab. They had a sense he wasn't so good. He was trying to convince himself, but you saw what happened instantly once the next body shot reined in. For the official particulars, we send it up to the ring to Donald DeNoyer. Now Donald having a few audio issues. What we can tell you is it's a knockout victory for Vernon Paris. He is now 25-0 with 15 knockouts. We'll take a break, and we'll be back. For the Welcome back to Friday Night Fights in Santa Inez, California, Chumash Casino. Joe Tessitor, Sergio Mora, now joined by Vernon Harris, who is now 25-0, coming off the knockout victory of Tim Coleman. First off, 
Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Sum up the night for me. Um, you know, I went out there to make him be the aggressor. Um, he started out to be the aggressor at first, but then I started tagging him. You know, and then he, he got he got me with a little lucky knockdown. And I haven't fought since January, so he caught me off balance. Let's go back and show you what happened here. Sergio, round number two. Coleman does put down Vernon Paris. It was a short right hand right there. You weren't really that hurt, I think, but you got up right away. Yeah. Your glove touched the floor, but it was a short shot. Then in he round number six, in. the body work really yeah. started to pay off. Yeah. I started to see that every time I would come in, he would he would, he would bring his elbows too close in. So I started seeing. I couldn't really get him with the right one to the body, so I started throwing with the left. And then what I started to do was bring the hook up here to make him lean over a little bit so I can get the open shot for the body shot. Round number seven, you finished him off. I want to ask you this. All week long, I mean, the hatred was just so obvious. Mm -hmm. Everything that happened, the altercation in the hotel, uh, the pre-fight interview, unlike anything we've ever heard yeah. before. How real was it, and what effect did it have in the ring? Well, to me, hate is a strong word, you know what I'm saying? So I, I didn't never hate Tim Coleman. The thing that I just didn't like about Tim Coleman is I'm a man, I have a daughter, and for you to sit on live TV and accuse me of these accusations that you know nothing about, and you're just going off what somebody else said, that, that, that just made me put it in me more to want to really destroy him and show him that he is not on my level and that I'm on a whole other level as far as even though him being older than me, I'm still way more mature than he is. Vernon Paris, congratulations. Knockout victory over Tim Coleman. Team Seventh fresh. round TKO. The body work does the damage. We'll be back with more action in a moment. First, we send it back to Jonathan Coachman. All right, Joe, thank you.